What the ALT report found, amongst many things, was that training across the United States Navy was not where it needed to be, and it recommended that we establish a fighter weapons school which was dedicated to teaching individual 1v1 aerial combat. Welcome to Top Gun. This is Top Gun, the US Naval Fighter Weapons School, located here at Naval Air Station Fallon in northern Nevada. It's where the US Navy takes its best fighter pilots and makes them even better. So Top Gun, uh, also known as the Navy Fighter Weapons School, uh, was established uh, just over 50 years ago uh, as a response to the ALT report, which uh, I actually have a leather-bound copy of the ALT report uh, at my desk. What the ALT report found, amongst many things, was that training across the United States Navy was not where it needed to be, and it recommended that we establish a fighter weapons school which was dedicated to teaching individual 1v1 aerial combat. Uh, and that's really been the start of, of Top Gun's charter. Uh, what we develop, in addition to frontline aviators, are aviators that are able to teach and instruct the rest of the fleet to accelerate the learning that is throughout the United States Navy. Top Gun's model has changed. The school has extended. Uh, it started 50 years ago at, at a multiple week course uh, that has now expanded into a multiple month course. Uh, it is currently 13 weeks long and we talk about not just 1v1 uh, air combat, also known as dogfighting, but also uh, 2v unknown and 4v unknown, so section and division level tactics as well. While we're doing that in both the air to ground and air to air environment, uh, we will also instruct each one of our students on the ways that they can continue to instruct the tactics, techniques, and procedures that we uh, learn uh, while we are at the class. And so that's really the charter. We graduate three classes a year. Uh, with upwards of uh, 12 students, or correction, 12 uh, crews per class. So sometimes we'll have as many as 14 or 15 students when you count our two-seat uh, aircraft. Um, so a little bit of math in public, that'll get us about 42 to 45 uh, Top Gun graduates per year that they can then go to the fleet to raise the level of instruction that is there. Top Gun Maverick is a Hollywood depiction of the story of the US Navy Fighter Weapons School. The real story is about a 50-year heritage of teaching the art of air combat. Selection of our, our students um, has absolutely changed throughout the years. Uh, when Top Gun was first established, squadrons would be convinced 
Uh, basically, the squadron commanding officer would be convinced to give up a couple of their aviators for the short period of time to get the extra training. Uh, they would uh, provide them to Top Gun. Top Gun would train them for four weeks in aerial combat and then return them back to the fleet. Uh, what has changed over the years is that uh, Top Gun students are really a continuation of a career model. Once students have finished with their first tour, they will put in an application package to Top Gun. Uh, Top Gun, along with both the East West Coast Weapons Schools, as well as other constituencies, including the test community, will parse through each of those applications and will pick the best and most qualified for the class. Once they are accepted to Top Gun, they are assigned follow-on orders to either one of those weapons schools, the test community, or potentially to stay on as Top Gun instructors, and then they will serve an entire two and a half to three year tour in an instructor capacity at one of those weapons schools. Thank you.